All right. Okay. So super excited to have you guys here. Sorry for that little bit of a tech snafu. I think that's kind of par for the course of what we're actually learning today anyways. Um, but so we're always looking to bring as much value as possible to you guys and as the industry uh, all the time. And so you've been hearing, it's probably the big buzzword around right now, right, Phil? Everywhere. It's AI, it's chat GPT. Um, that's what everyone's talking about. Um, and so uh, we are constantly talking about how to create separation, right? And how do we do that? Uh, so when it comes to technology, when it comes to the new world we're in today, right, you have to know how to create a massive advantage um, in your business, in your life, efficiencies, systems, lead generation, marketing. And if you aren't taking advantage, if you aren't evolving, if you're not learning what you're able to leverage, uh, you are going to be left behind. And that's the same for as technologies evolve year over year over year and as time has gone on. So some of you guys who are just chatting about it have been, you know, using and playing around with AI, with ChatGPT. Um, some of us, it's way too overwhelming. So whoever's in that boat and we haven't even paid attention or looked at what's going on, but that's why we have Still here, right? So, because you don't have to figure it out on your own. This is what's much more difficult, okay? We leverage the experts like Phil that have already researched and tested how far can we go with these tools? How can we use them outside the box, right? How can we grow our businesses and our systems exponentially? How can we create more business, procure uh, lead generation and all of that? So with that said, I'm super excited, guys, to introduce my good friend, Phil Stringer. If you guys can all see him on, this, on the screen here, Phil can wave. Um, he's based out of North Carolina. So he is the C the COO, right. Of one yep. of the most uh, successful real estate brokerages I know in North Carolina. Um, and Phil, you just kind of, ex with, with AI and chat GPT coming on the scene and your background, you just kind of exploded over the industry right now and have become one of the most important, I think, and influential resources in our industry, uh, which is why you've been coaching, um, working with some of the biggest players in our industry, but also, I mean, you've been flying around everywhere with some of the largest real estate organizations in the country, um, which has been really cool and a lot of fun. So um, he's going to share a ton of knowledge with you guys, uh, and we're packing this all into one hour. So he's going to give you guys a lot of tactical things that you can apply immediately a ton of information a lot of outside the box stuff and uh so i hope you guys are ready um we will stop at the end to do some q a so you guys will have some time for that and i'll show you guys how to contact uh phil on that kind of a thing so with that said phil i'll let you go ahead and get started love it guys thanks for having me we're gonna condense a lot of really good information in a short period of time uh, i don't like to waste time i like to give as much value as i can in a short period of time and so we're going to jump in. I'm going to explain kind of the basics of AI. Uh, there's always people in the room. Every time I do a presentation, there's always people who don't really know what it is. And that's OK. You do not have to be a technology expert. OK, you you can hate technology. It doesn't matter if you can copy and paste, then you will be 100 percent fine. I've tested all of this on my grandmother. She's fine. You'll be fine. So <laughs> we're going to jump in and I want to talk to you guys about AI specifically. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that in your industry, there's a lot of fear right now about AI replacing our jobs, right? So I'm going to open up this presentation. And I'm going to teach you guys how to grow your business using AI tools that I like to use and chat GPT. But the very first thing that I want to tell you guys is to just take a deep breath and relax because AI is not going to replace your job. Okay. But someone using AI will. So if you're in real estate, then a real estate agent who's starting to utilize AI, they're going to end up replacing your job. It's just a matter of time. I know that's a scary thought, but it's just reality. So I like to um, relate this to when the internet came out and you started having the big, you know, dot com boom. Every time I'll do a conference, I'll say, hey, is there anyone who's been in the industry for 30 plus years? Right. If someone raises their hand, I'll say, OK, what did you guys do for, you know, your MLS before the internet? And they say, well, you know, we had we had a catalog and we had a either it's a biweekly or monthly catalog that would, you know, we'd look through. I said, okay, now if you didn't evolve with technology and you didn't adapt the internet, where would your business be today? Obviously it wouldn't be anywhere because having a monthly MLS update would not work in today's society. So I like to, to basically relate AI to when the internet came out because this is the biggest technology advancement for us since the internet. And we have to 
utilize what's going on. We have to jump on the bandwagon so that we can be first to market with these things, right? Because people are not utilizing AI. Not everyone's utilizing AI yet. It's still so new and people don't know how and they're scared of it. I promise you guys, you're going to walk out of these doors in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to condense it as much as I can. Normally I'll do an hour, two hours, but I'm going to give you guys everything that you need to know in the next 30 minutes to walk out of this room, top 1% in the industry and in understanding AI. I promise you that. And so the AI revolution is not just about you. The AI revolution is about your client. So think about the efficiencies, think about the time savings, think about you being able to focus on relationships and the client and not the, the low value activities. AI can help you get low value activities off your plate so that you can have more time focusing on high value revenue generating activities and being there for your client, being forward facing with your client and building those relationships. So like I said, the AI powered agent will eventually replace the everyday agent. It's just a matter of time. So it's here, the revolution is here. We have to embrace it and we have to figure out how can we utilize it in a way that other agents aren't utilizing it so that we can run circles around, right? The other competition. Because I guarantee you, if you guys put some of these things into place, you will be in a position where you can differentiate yourself from the other real estate agents or whatever industry you're in from the other people in your competition. So now, like I said, the good thing is you don't have to be an AI master. I don't care if you have trouble turning on your phone. I don't care if you have trouble on your computer and you hate technology. This stuff is so simple. Some of the things that I'm going to show you are simple, but you can implement them. And if you don't want to implement them, you can have a VA or an assistant or a friend do it for you. But I'm going to condense so much time for you in the next 30 minutes. I've done the research. I have dug into this stuff and spent all the time researching to tell you this is good. This is bad. Don't worry about this. Focus on this. Okay. So what I want to do kind of starting off is say, hey, what is AI? I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what it is. And I like to define it this way. It's any system that leverages human capacities for learning, perception, and interaction at a level of complexity that supersedes our own abilities. Now, this is such a general definition, but this is why we see so many ads and so many new softwares, so many new programs that say, hey, new AI technology, because everyone's jumping on the bandwagon from a marketing perspective. Right. So people are calling everything that's smarter than a human brain, any computer, they're calling it AI, essentially. And so we have to be careful what tools we utilize and what tools we don't, because a lot of tools are just using AI as a marketing term to try and get more business. And that's fine. People do that. Companies do that all the time. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a way to use certain tools and certain things uh, to boost your business. And I've already tested a lot of different tools. I can tell you where to go and I'm going to do that in this session. So all in all with this intro, I want to tell you basically one thing and that is evolve or die. It's human nature. It's been around since the beginning of time. We either evolve or we die. And it's the same type of thing in the industry. We can either evolve and grasp this thing and use it when no one else is, or eventually we will end up dying out and another agent will take our place because they will be able to do so much more than you can do. They will service the client so much better that you will end up dying. And so we have to embrace this thing and I'm gonna teach you how. So what I wanna do to begin with, if you have a phone, scan this code. If you have a phone, scan this code. Uh, you can also, if you're on your phone for the Zoom, you can take a screenshot of it and then um, you can go, go to that code. Anyone who clicks on this code, it's gonna take you to a free PDF download. So you just put in your name and email and phone and you can download all the tools that I'm telling you about right now. So you don't have to worry about uh, you know, taking notes. Oh, what web address was that? What was the name of this tool? I have a PDF that lays out everything I'm going through today and you get access to all of it for free. If you're interested in following my journey with some AI tips and whatnot, you can follow me on Instagram. It's probably the best platform for me to follow. Uh, and that would be at Phil Stringer on Instagram. But go ahead and scan that code. And uh, if, you, if you don't have it to where you can scan the code, you can also go to AIToolsPDF.com. AITools, T 
T-O-O-L-S-P-D-F.com. It'll take you to the same spot where you can download that free AI tools PDF for free, okay? But everything that I go through from here on out is going to have uh, all of that stuff packaged in that PDF for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through my top 10 favorite tools outside of ChatGPT. And then at the end, I'm gonna focus the rest of the time on ChatGPT. So I just wanna do a very quick run through of some tools. And again, you don't have to take notes. I've got it all in the PDF with links that you can click on, all done already, okay? So I want to show you guys uh, the first tool, which is called Synthesia. This is Synthesia. And just a quick overview of what this does is you can type in or paste in text and then you hit play and you actually have an AI avatar that will read what you've written. You can choose the avatar, choose the voice. And essentially this is very helpful. I've seen a lot of different teams who will do training with this so they don't have to spend money on the camera gear, lighting gear, they wanna do a, um, you know, an entire course for their team or a training for their team, they'll use this. And I just helped a, a client save $80,000 doing an entire course this way. Uh, so this is something that you may wanna look at, but again, you put in the text, you hit play, and then you have somebody reading what you're writing. And you can change the look of it, you can create a, a PowerPoint with it, and it's an entire training video essentially uh, powered by AI. So that's Synthesia. Okay, and I'm gonna run through these fairly quick because we're crunched on time. Um, but again, all of this is in the PDF. Number two is a tool called Descript. And the reason why I bring this tool up is because it actually has a feature in Descript. It's a video editor at its core. However, there's an option where you upload 15 to 30 minutes of any video or audio of you speaking and it generates a voice that sounds like you based on its learning from your audio. So then you could type in or paste in any text, hit play, and it's you reading what you just typed. So uh, there are some creative ways that we can use this. Uh, I tell some agents for uh, real estate, they generally create property descriptions in chat gpt that's the number one use for real estate agents that i've seen them use chat gpt for but if you create a property description and you paste that property description into this program you hit play you now have your voice reading it you can literally take that audio and put it over a slideshow of the photography from the listing and you've got a listing video that you didn't have to shoot you didn't have to record and your clients are like, wow, I didn't even know that they were gonna do that. But there's some really creative ways that you can use this software to have your voice reading certain text that you paste in or type in. So this one's called Descript. Number three, this is Opus Clip, this is my favorite. What you do is you upload a file or you can uh, link it uh, to a YouTube clip, right? Of any long form content, even if it's horizontal like this, what it does is it takes it and it puts it in the correct framing for Instagram Reels, TikTok, Shorts. It adds the captions for you automatically with the highlights and the emojis, but the power is really in the AI curation. And what it does is it transcribes the whole video so that it understands what you're talking about in the video. And it says, okay, based on the transcription, this right here, this few seconds is a really good hook. That's what's going to draw, uh, really draw people in. And then they pair it with relevant information and they create a short form video clip for reels, TikTok, whatever. And it's done with AI. So I want to show you the back end of this because I did it to test it out. And we have, you know, team trainings here every week. I uploaded just some random ones. I don't even know what I was talking about. This one's from January, March, and April. You click in here and within a, a matter of minutes, it created for me how many? I think it's eight. Yeah, eight different short form video options. And it sorts it by virality score, which is the likelihood that the video will go viral on shorts, TikToks based on their thinking and their calculations. So it gives you a title. It does all of that for you. It gives you a description of the video, which is very interesting. And so if you look at the description, it will actually give you feedback as well. So this says, the video has a good opening discussion on the value of education and confidence in the market. It delivers a clear, complete message with practical advice that can apply to any industry. The speaker connects with the audience and the topic is relevant. And then it says, though a more unique angle would be appreciated. So it's literally giving me feedback on some of these videos that have maybe the lower score, which this was still 
very good. I, I posted this one to uh, my Instagram, I think a few days ago, and then it gives you the entire transcript of every word that you said right here. So you can post it to social from here, you can download the file, or you can edit the, um, the file as well. So it's just a very interesting way to create short form content from long form content. This will save you video editing, it will save you time and money for sure. Number four is a tool called Dolly2, and this is by the same company that does ChatGPT, but this is for images, right? It's not for text like ChatGPT, this is actually for images. So if you were to log into this thing, um, you can type in text and it will generate an image for you. So, you know, if I were to say, uh, let's just do something random, a purple uh, raccoon that uh, is swimming in the ocean. Like you can literally do any type of anything and it will create some very interesting, uh, interesting images for you. So it takes a few seconds. It gives you about four options, but look, I mean, we have a purple raccoon swimming in the ocean and it was just generated right there. Another interesting thing about this software is you can upload an image and ask it to change uh, some of the things on the image. So very interesting. It's, um, it's really a neat tool if you're looking for imagery, not, um, not text. And then number five, number five is try it on. Now I'm going to preface this by saying it's $17 and you upload uh, several selfies. So you take pictures of yourself, you upload it, you tell it what you want to wear, you know, business, casual, whatever, where you want the photo shoot to be outside in an office environment, whatever, it will generate maybe close to a hundred different images of, of you, headshots, branding, photo shoot. Now I will say 95% of them are gonna be awful. Like you're not gonna wanna use them. You're gonna say this is horrible, but the 5%, even if you got three, four, five, six, seven good ones, you can totally use it for branding, for posting on social media. And it's just a really neat tool to see, uh, you know, even though a majority of them aren't great, you'll still get some, a handful of good ones out of it. And it can be worth the $17 cause you don't have to hire a cameraman. You don't have to hire someone to, you know, run around with you. You don't have to go shopping for new clothes. Like you can literally use this for a few headshots if you want some for branding. The next one is Tactic. Tactic links to your web conferencing. So Zoom, Google Meet, whatever type of software you use. And what it does, I literally uh, used to have someone on my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls taking notes for me because I wanted to focus on my client. What this will do is right after you're done with the call, it transcribes the whole thing. It creates a summary of the meeting for you. It creates um, action items for each person and an agenda for the next meeting automatically. So I'll take you into the back end. This is, um, let's see, this is one of a random coaching call that I had. So it gives me a summary. Tony and Phil talk about improving Tony's real estate business, using a document to calculate how many calls he needs to make to reach his income goals. I mean, we go through everything. Tony set a goal of 300,000 in annual income. We go through this whole thing. It gives Tony some action items, read pages four through 20 of the book that I gave him. And then it has an agenda here. And then the entire transcript of every word that we said now, when I'm done with my coaching call, I can go in here, copy this, the summary, add, add it to an email, send it to him, and he's like, oh man, wow, that's awesome. Phil took all these notes, and you know, now we have an amazing summary, and he's reminded of what he needs to do. I know what I've got to do, and it's all done automatically. That tool is called Tactic, okay? This one, and I've got a couple more to run through. This one is called allright.ai. What this will do is it will turn a video into a written article, right? So you can get a video, whether it's YouTube, whatever, paste it into here and it writes an article based on what you said. So I created a 30 minute YouTube video and it doesn't have to be that long, it can be any length, but I had a 30 minute video uh, of different AI tools that I liked that I was describing. I pasted that YouTube video in here and it wrote me a blog about some of the things that I was talking about. So it's not like it's just transcribing it, it's literally writing an article. So then I can take that blog, post it on my website, and I have all the benefit of a written article from the video that I shot. And I don't need to do both, right? It's just done for me. So this one's pretty neat, it's called allright.ai. 
couple more. This one is durable. It builds a website within 30 seconds. So you literally go in here and it says, all right, let's get started. What type of business are we building? So let's just say real estate, right? We're going to go next and it says, all right, what's the name of your business? Let's just call it, you know, Stringer Realty. It picks a color palette for me and it begins to create a, a landing page website, which then I can go in and tweak and edit, but it's at least getting the framework done for me within like 30 seconds. So what it does is it gets all the stuff ready and then I go in and I edit the design after I'm done. So if I don't like the image, if I don't like the colors, if I don't like the font, I can change that, but it's all laid out here. I mean, look, Emily has some great things to say about me. Uh, I have all my different services that I can change and edit and put links in. I have a meet the team. I have over a hundred years of combined experience, guys. Like it, you can go in here, tweak it, make it your own, connect with us today. And then here, it knows my location. I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina right now. So it gives me this section down here. It's obviously not going to be 100% accurate. These testimonials are not mine, but I go in and I add them and all of the stuff is at least built for me. So that's a really neat tool. This one here, and I only have two more. This is uh, number number nine. This one's called Tomi. And this is if you want to create um, different presentations, keynotes, PowerPoints. You type in what you want to talk about. And I typed in uh, AI and real estate. And it created this whole slide deck with images, introduction. And it has this whole thing of why AI is the future of real estate. I can go in and I can edit the image. I can edit the text. But again, a majority of the work's been done for me. And I have this presentation now that I can utilize. So again, AI is not gonna give get you 100% there. It's not this magic bullet that you just type in AI in real estate and it writes everything that's in your brain. You have to know how to use the tool correctly, but it will get you 80%, 90% there to where you're saving so much time and then you go in and you tweak it based on what you want. And then the last tool, I know this is kind of fast, but we're on a time crunch. The last tool is called Designer and this creates eBooks and lead magnets to reach more people. So you can turn blogs, podcasts, videos, PDFs into an ebook that you could then offer your potential clients. So let's think for a moment, let's say, you know, you have something about the benefit of home staging and is it worth the cost uh, when you're listing your home? Now you create an ebook that's branded to you based on the, hey, here's the 10, you know, 10 questions to ask before you decide, do you wanna, you know, stage your home, whatever you wanna do, now you've got an ebook that you can give for free and say, hey, download my free ebook. You're collecting contact information because to download it, they need to give you their email address and, and phone number and, and name. And then you've got contacts that if everyone's wanting to know, hey, is home staging the right thing to do when listing my home? They're probably more than likely needing to uh, do a listing at some point in the future. Now you've got some leads coming in and you're providing free value. So this is a great way to automatically do that from different content pieces into ebooks. So those are my 10. I'm gonna spend the rest of our time. Michelle, I'll probably take 15 minutes from here and just run through some, some things with ChatGPT. Perfect. And I, I wanna explain first off what ChatGPT is really quickly. And then I'm just gonna go into screen sharing and I'm gonna do some stuff in front of you guys, right? So ChatGPT is, is a large language model. It's called an LLM. It's basically everything that Google wished that it was. With Google and with search engines, you get static results of articles that may help you with your question. With ChatGPT, you ask it questions and it goes back and forth and gives you a response. So there is a lot that you can do with ChatGPT. Most people don't understand its full potential. And I want to at least give you some ideas on some ways that, that we can use this thing, okay? And so today I'm going to screen share. Obviously, I'm going to go into the back end of ChatGPT. But what I want you to guys, you guys to understand is that ChatGPT is a tool and tools are only as good as the person using the tool. You have to understand how to use this tool. And if you don't, then you won't be able to use it at your full potential, okay? And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run through some different use cases of ChatGPT just in general, okay? So first off, you, this is the, the back end of ChatGPT where you type in your information here. You can ask ChatGPT simple 
questions. So anything that you would Google, you could ask ChatGPT. Now, I want to go ahead and um, dispel some of the issues that some people have and let you know some workarounds. For an example, ChatGPT is only trained on data through September of 2021. So as real estate agents, that can be hard because you don't have the current market conditions, you don't have the current interest rates. So if I were to go in here and say, you know, who won the Super Bowl in 2022, it's not going to know. Watch, it's going to come back and say, look, I've only been trained up until September of 2021. Okay. So what I want to do then is I want to either one, I can purchase the paid version of chat GPT, which is GPT-4 right here. It's $20 a month and it has access to browsing with Bing. So if you enable that and you ask the same question, it will tell you because it looks it up on the internet first. Super powerful. Now, if you don't wanna pay for the full version yet and you just wanna try the free version, there is a web extension tool that you can download where you get this thing right here. I see how it says web access and I can toggle it on or off. I'm going to show you exactly where to get that. So it's in the Chrome Web Store. You can search for Chrome Web Store. Go to the Chrome Web Store, and this is what you're going to search for. Write this down. Web Chat GPT. No spaces. Okay. Web Chat GPT. It's this one right here with the dark image. Install this. Use Chrome. And now you are going to have this down here where it says Web Access. So look, if I turn this on, and now I say who won the Super Bowl in 2022, it's going to reference online first. So it's pulling up articles from Google, it's reading the articles and it's answering based on what it read. So now my answer is that the Los Angeles Rams won the Super Bowl in 2022. They emerged victorious in Super Bowl 56 by defeating the Cincinnati Bengals. Now it's, it's citing all of its references, right? And I mean, literally we're getting a description right here. There you go. You have a full description of who won and it's done. Guys, we can now use this to know current market conditions. We can prime it then to know current interest rates. So if you ask this thing, hey, what are the current interest rates? And it comes back and it tells you, all right, today it's this. Then you can say, all right, based on that information, create me content about blah, blah, blah. So if you're wanting to write an article, if you're wanting to do a blog or an email newsletter that has current conditions in the email, do that first and have it reference what it just did to write your article. You don't have to just use it on generic content. So again, number one, you can ask it simple questions. Anything that you would Google, you can use for ChatGPT. Number two, you can generate lists with it. So you could literally go in here and generate lists. You could say, you know, list out 10 potential uh, new hobbies that I can try in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm gonna turn web access off for that because this is not information that has to be passed uh, uh, September of 2021. And then it's gonna list out some options of things that I can do, photography. And it's gonna actually reference specific things about Greensboro. So it says hiking, right? Uh, Guilford Courthouse National Military Park or the Greensboro Bog Garden. I know that doesn't mean anything to you guys, but those are actual areas. So what I wanna do and the reason why I said in Greensboro, North Carolina is because again, this is a tool and it's only as good as how we use it. Most people would have asked, hey, I need a new hobby, list me 10 potential new hobbies. And it would have given you random hobbies. But if I give it a ton of information, if I, the more specific I am, the more specific I am, the, the more specific my answers are gonna be. So I literally put in Greensboro, North Carolina because I wanna know stuff I can do around Greensboro. Think that way every time you're using ChatGPT, the more information you put in, the better information you're going to get out. Okay. So number two is it generates lists. Uh, number three is it can write long form written pieces. So you can go in here and this is how most people are writing blogs. This is the wrong way, but you can still do this. I'll show you the right way in about five to 10 minutes here. The wrong way is uh, write me a, you know, let's say 1000 word because you can be specific with how long you want it. 1000 word blog about you know the uh, benefits of home staging when listing your home. This is how a majority of real estate agents are using this tool. So you can certainly do this and it will write you a 1000 word blog. So we've got an introduction, 150 words, you know, we've got the first section here, 200, 200, 200, and then we'll have a conclusion probably at the end. There you go. We have a 1000 word blog about the benefits of home staging, that's fine. This can do articles, it can do, you know, 2000 words. You can specify how long you want it. 
email marketing, blogs, articles, any type of long form written pieces you can do. Um, number four then is feedback commands. So you could literally take something that you've written and ask for feedback. So if I went to my website and I pulled, um, let's say an old blog that I wrote, right? I'm gonna pull up a blog and I am going to copy this blog and I'm gonna paste it in and I'm gonna ask for feedback on this blog that I wrote and say, hey, what can I do to make it better? So go over here to chat GPT and I could say, you know, I wrote a blog about time blocking. Uh, can you give me some feedback on how I could have made it more engaging for my audience? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste the blog in below, hit enter, and it's going to give me some feedback on what I could have done. So now it says, okay, overall it's good. Here's some tips that could have made it more engaging. And it goes with my hook, visual aids. I didn't have any images there. And so that's helpful for any type of content you're writing. You can actually ask it to be a uh, spell checker, uh, grammar, any type of feedback you can do. All right, uh, number five. Um, now, one thing I do wanna point out is something really, really next level is if anyone records their calls, you can easily get your calls from your CRM transcribed with a tool. You paste the transcription, you say, hey, can you give me feedback on how I could have better acquired this customer, right? As real estate agents or people in sales, that can be massive um, because you can actually get feedback from ChatGPT on your actual calls, right? Uh, number five, then modification prompts. You can translate things to another language. So let, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy this conclusion. And I'm going to say, um, you know, write this, um, or let me do translate this into, translate this into, I don't know, let's just say Chinese. And it's going to write it in Chinese. You can do it with any language, right? I can take this and I could say, um, make this longer, right? Uh, make this a 1,000 word section. And then I can paste it in and I can literally expand. It's still talking about all the stuff that I just talked about. It's just making it way longer, right? I can make stuff shorter. I could be like, turn this into a tweet based in my conclusion. And now I'll get a, a tweet that I can copy and paste into Twitter with hashtags, right? Super powerful. So you can lengthen things, reword things. I could literally do the same thing and be like, um, you know, rephrase this paste in my conclusion, and it's gonna write it, but just in a different way, boom. Um, rephrasing, rewording, lengthening, shortening, transfer to another language, paraphrase, outline, rearrange, any of that modification prompts. Number six then is instructional prompts. You can actually ask it how to do things. So you could literally say, how do I build a birdhouse? And it will give you materials needed. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions. Here you go, materials needed, step one, step two, step three. So you can do any type of how to's with it as well. And then the last one that I'm gonna give you guys is information extraction. You can actually extract information from data. So I could say, give me a summary about the book. Uh, let's do the gap and the gain. And it's going to, oh, let's see, it says, I might have to turn on the web access for that. So it can access the web. So I could say, give me, a summary about the book, Gap in the Gain. It's gonna reference online and it's gonna give me a summary on the book based on what it finds online. Super powerful. So here we go. Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan gives me a whole summary. I can ask it for an outline. I can ask it for a Facebook status based on this. I can ask it for an email marketing campaign for my clients, right? Super, super powerful. So what I want to share with you guys is for those of you who scanned that QR coding and downloaded that free PDF, there is a link where you can go into this right here, and I'm giving all of this for you free, where I've gone through and I've given you 10 prompts that you can copy and paste. So you see how we've got like create a buyer persona with a list of pain points, 90 content ideas your clients may want to know, create a complete blog calendar. 10 killer hooks for ads, email newsletters that your clients will read, craft the perfect blog post with SEO, YouTube video scripts, cr uh, customer focused FAQ section, uh, optimized call to action, viral TikTok scripts. So basically what you guys have access to is let's say you wanted to create a blog 
I'm going to run you through the blog really quickly because I showed you the way that most people are doing it. But with this pack, you're going to be able to blow them out of the water. So first thing, what I would do, you can use this content calendar very easily. I have the prompt right here. And then anything that's in brackets, you change to what you want. So let's just say we copy this and we paste it into chat GPT. And I'm using the free version for all this, by the way, I'm not even using the paid version, but it says, I'd like you to help me come up with a content schedule for my blog that has the best chance of helping me rank, right? For the keywords. And then down here, it says the keyword I'm targeting is you can leave it generic real estate, or you can do a specific type of, um, type of thing. So let's just keep it uh, real estate or let's do, let's do buying real estate uh, in North Carolina, right? Cause that's where I am. I can do buying real estate in North Carolina. I can make that whatever I want. And now what I'm going to get is a blog content calendar in, you know, in this beautiful looking table. And I have a blog for every day of the week. I can tell it, Hey, I want to do one a week. I can say, Hey, I want to do three a week. I can want to do seven a week, five. It doesn't matter. You tell it what you want, but now I've got the ultimate guide to buying real estate in North Carolina. I've got all of the titles for every single day for an entire month. I can have it plan out the rest of the year. I can have it plan out 52 weeks. I can have it plan out whatever I want. I just tell it right. So now that I have my content calendar, all I have to do is this. And I've given you guys this here. It's called craft the perfect blog post with SEO. So now I go in and I copy this and I'm not going to read you this whole thing because it's very detailed, but basic point is look at this. It says, uh, I want you to act as a content writer that's proficient in SEO. I'm having it create two tables an outline and then the actual article. I'm having it make different headers. So it looks pretty H1, H2, H3, H4. And then I'm having it write a 2000 word, 100% unique SEO optimized human written article in English with at least 15 headings and subheadings. So now what I do, it says, now write me an article on this topic. And then it has these brackets. You're going to take the, the title that you like up here that you say, yeah, I like that one. I'm going to do an article about the ultimate guide to buying real estate in North Carolina. You paste it in here where the title goes, you hit enter. And now look at the difference between the blog that we saw and here's our outline and then watch this. Now we've got our blog. We have nice headings. We have an introduction. We have 15 different headings and subheadings. And now here's one thing I want to show you. This is a perfect example. Another issue that people have with ChatGPT is it stops. At, if you're doing a really long thing, it only can produce so, uh, so much content. But there's this button here. If you have this web access tool, there's a button that says continue generating. You just hit that and it continues. If you don't have that button, you can literally type in continue, hit enter, and it picks up where it left off to where you can copy and paste the whole thing together. So if you run into issues with really long content, like books or really long articles, once it stops because it only has so much processing power, you can just literally say continue. And it continues on with the entire article from where it left off. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm going to put that QR code up one more time so that you guys can download the PDF with those free tools I went through. It'll also come with a link to where you can download these uh, 10 prompts that you can literally just copy and paste for real estate. And then um, I will tell you guys that there's um, essentially, if the 10 are helpful for you, I also have created a list of over 500 of these from email advertising, SEO, YouTube, customer service, web, copywriting. I've got all of these for real estate that I offer as a product because I do an academy teaching people how to use AI. And this academy comes with all of these prompts uh, in that as well. So we can talk about that if you want to level up your game and do even more, you know, we can show you that. But to get the free 10, I'm going to go ahead and put up that QR code one more time. And then I'm going to let uh, Michelle take over from here because I know we probably want to jump into some Q&A. Well, so what was that website again? I'm just typing in the chat. That gives them this as well. AI tools, PDF, A-I-T-O-O-L-S-P-D-F.com. Okay, so for those of you guys that asked that, I just added it in there. So obviously I, I got a sneak peek of some of this from you, Phil, which was already like mind blowing to me. This was just like a hundred levels more. Um, if you guys are, are fully grasping everything you just saw with being literally given those prompts that you can copy and paste. I mean, this, this 
changes the game. Does everyone on here see how you can do? I mean, I don't even know the. I was saying 10x more and faster. I think it's a hundred insane more and af, uh, and faster. And this is what we talked about with creating separation. Because imagine everyone else out there that doesn't even know this exists. Yeah. And the separation now and the level up and the advantage that you get to create. So I know we got about 10 minutes. I want to open up for you guys for some Q&A. But I guess before we do that real quick, Phil, um, on your, is it in when they, when we submit our information or whatever comes out, um, can you just share for like two minutes what it is in this academy that you run for those and like what you're doing, yeah. with agents, how long, what it looks like? For sure. So it's a 12 week program. It's three months. We do weekly, weekly sessions. And so we've got a full syllabus where every week we learn something new. It's a 30 minute call because again, I don't want to be on a zoom call with you for an hour and you sit there and be like, oh man, you know, we could have done this in 30 minutes. I want to give you super condensed information because I don't want to waste your time, but it's 30 minute calls once a week. And then we do Q and a, and uh, essentially what you get is you learn how to use these tools. You learn how to use chat GBT for real estate to boost your business. You get access to the full 500 prompts as well that I showed you. So that way you can start copying and pasting using that. Um, but again, I mean, Michelle, I had somebody uh, last week who secured a $1.5 million listing just because of what they learned in the academy, because he brought up the AI thing when he was on a listing presentation. And the guy said, man, I've been interviewing agents and you're the first person who's told me that you've invested in yourself to learn AI for your business. He said, if you're that forward thinking, you're the guy for the job. And so this is something that can differentiate yourself from all the other people because not everyone is doing this yet and most of them aren't. So it's just a tool that you can really learn some great things. And we go through that 12 week program for you. And so obviously all the stuff that I'm hopefully everyone already submitted for, um, you guys are getting all of that content for free. Phil, just, I just see a couple of questions in here. So it's a 12 week program with you for anyone that is interested in training at that different level um, and, and a live. And then uh, anyways, what is, what does that cost just to answer that for something? Yeah, like absolutely. So I'll share my screen and I'll show you because we actually have a promo code for, for this group um, that I can give you guys that will significantly make it uh, cheaper. So you see there, it's normally $18.99 a month for the three months. Uh, for this group, we have a promo code you can put in where it takes it to $3.97. Um, so if you're interested in $3.97 a month, the promo code is Elite Promo. That's the code to scan if you want to get in, but you have to use Elite Promo at checkout to take it down to the $3.97 from the $18.99. Um, if you don't have scanning capabilities, you can go to that, that web address there. It's the AI agent And that's where every week you're, you're coaching and training through all that content, all that additional prompts and content. Yeah, also so every avenue of the industry showing us. Exactly. So you get access to a private Facebook group. You get access to the 500 plus prompts I showed you. You get access to the weekly coaching, 12 week coaching, uh, calls and the weekly Q and a. Uh, for office hours. That's a crazy deal. I yeah. love that. Um, this was, okay, so this was insanely valuable. Thank you, Phil. So let's open yeah. it up for a few here, guys. Um, let's do some open Q&A. Phil, you can probably stop sharing screen. For sure. Cool. Let's I got a quick question. I got a quick question here, right? So if anybody else is on this call like me, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, analysis paralysis, right? Sensory overload. There's so many options and tools that you shared with us. If you were going to break it down to one or maybe even two places to start, the very first things that we can be doing or playing with in order to get a head start uh, on yeah. learning this, where do we go? Great question. I would not utilize all 10 of those tools. The reason I give you 10 is because some people want to be focused on, say, writing blogs. Some people want to be focused on, okay, I need to do more video. If you want to do more video, use Opus Clip and that will create your short form content, that third tool that I showed. If you want to focus on writing content, writing blogs, just use ChatGPT. So I don't mean to overload you. I've gone through thousands of tools. Most of them are junk. Those are good because I use them, uh, but don't use all 10 of them at one time. You have to master one or two things. Pick one or two that you're like, man, I really want to focus on video or I really want to focus on this specific thing. Master that and then move to the next. So I would just encourage you guys, maybe maybe focus on chat GPT, or if you already use that at a high level, then say, hey, I want to I do video, so I'm going to use Opus Clip, right? 
but don't jump into everything. That would absolutely be overload. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Who else? Ask, ask away is where you guys got a few minutes. Yeah, I see on there, once you install the chat GPT extension, how do you access it? So it'll automatically be in chat GPT as long as you're using Chrome. So you just log into chat GPT like normal. And as long as you're using Chrome, it's in there once you've installed that extension, because it's a, it's a Chrome extension. And just so you guys know, so obviously there was QR codes, uh, promos, some of that really specific walkthrough, like Phil, when you're talking about that extension and where to download and whatnot, um, I just posted you guys. So for co-founders, I will give you guys the recording because you're going to want to like replay, rewatch that, write those parts down. And for guests, I put on here as well, um, where I'll make it available. Um, so you guys will have access to it. I'm putting, I'm putting the name of that extension in the chat right now. I have a question. Is it okay just to open my mic? Yeah. Um, so I have my, one of my, my social media manager on here, and we also have a video yeah. editor. We get most of our business from YouTube. And I know you mentioned Opus. Would you, if you were like in my shoes, would you just have your video editor be using Opus yes. or anything like how can they, I want to be able to allow them to use AI to the best of their abilities to maximize sure. their positions. That's the best way to do it because instead of me saying, okay, I'm going to fire my video editors. What I've done is I've trained my video editors on Opus clip and now we're getting 10 X content because they're editing the videos, but they're starting with Opus clip, right? It just saves them time to where they're able to produce much more content for you. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Great question. Thank you. Also, just as a side note, I've used Notion to create meal plans for me. So I'm like, I need 2,400 calories, <laughs> uh, vegan, Love high it. protein, no mushrooms. Like you can, and it'll pull out a full meal plan for you. I love it. I saw um, someone on here from Canada. I did a, a an AI thing in Canada and I think it's Skyly was on here. She was in the uh, audience and I just went around and said, okay, everyone give me one random uh, ingredient that's in your fridge right now. And I did like 10 of them. And then we made a, a recipe based on the random ingredients that everyone had, had shouted out. So it, that, it's fun. It will not, however, predict the lottery numbers. I have asked. Yeah, yeah, we've tried. <laughs> uh, we have a question in the chat. What about Safari users? If you want that extension, you have to use Chrome. So you can still use Safari for everything else, but maybe only use Chrome when you're using ChatGPT and just have Chrome be the ChatGPT browser and Safari for everything else. So I wanted to know, uh, once you have the uh, topic scheduled, so you also kind of schedule post all of them on Instagram. So that way, you know, say you're doing like a testimonial Tuesday or something like that. So it's all scheduled in there. Uh, so you don't have to monitor when they go out. Okay, so um, so ask. I'm, I'm not understanding the question. Is the, is the question, Ranjavi, is once you create the calendar, are you saying can you put it in where they're yes. be put in so it automatically yeah. pulls out? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So there there are um, social media schedulers online that you can use where it'll automatic. So basically, you create the content and then you paste it into the scheduler and then it automatically posts it for you. Okay, yep. but you have to uh, get like a separate app to do it or does Instagram have that feature, right? I guess so Instagram yeah, does have a feature. Yeah, yeah, okay. you can you can schedule out your posts in Instagram. Okay. Yep. That's big. That's such yep. awesome. if you if you want to manage multiple uh, platforms with one account, that's where you want to do a third party tool. What third party tool is that? I'm sorry, what? Do you know any third party tools that can do that? Uh, multiple? Yeah, there's platforms? so many out there. Um, I would I would Google Hootsuite. Here, let me just put it in the chat. There's Hootsuite, there's Buffer, uh, Hootsuite. Hootsuite's Buffer. really good. Yeah, there's lots of them out there. All right, guys. We're getting down to the last second. So any other questions for Phil before he goes? Yeah, I, I, I do. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, so so basically um, on your chat GBT and how you had, um, you know, weeks of or, you know, days or weeks of def different blogs that you could put. So basically, would you 
cut and paste those and put them in your Hootsuite? Yeah, so so I would take that. It depends on what platform you're going to post to. So if you're doing a blog, Hootsuite okay. um, connects to social media accounts. Right, and for posting, right? Sure. And, right. If you're posting a blog to your website, you would want to go in, and most website backends will have a scheduler where you can paste it and be like, all right, post this on this day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you could create the whole month or the whole year. <laughs> you could do whatever you wanted and right. paste it and have it auto schedule. Would you, would you have to do them one for one or can you just basically paste them all into the days of Hootsuite? You know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, which, can you basically take all of those that, from every single day and then put it and just, and just basically just lay them like dominoes onto Hootsuite for the days? Or do you have to one by one each day? Yeah, well, Hootsuite, that would be for content. So like Facebook statuses, Instagram images, Instagram videos. It wouldn't work for blog on your website, but if you were okay. doing content for Facebook statuses or Facebook images, you can go in and you can literally lay out every single day. You just paste in and then hit save and it will go to all your accounts. Awesome. So I definitely awesome. check out Hootsuite and Buffer. And there's there's so many of those. You can you know right. look through them. Those are the two I've used before. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. What is your what is your um quickly what is your thought process on podcasts? Podcasts are great. I mean, it, it, but again, analysis paralysis, if you're not going to do it, consistency is the key. It is much better for you not to do a podcast than to do one and be in, inconsistent. So if you're going to do it, say, hey, I'm going to do one once a week, once a month, once biweekly, whatever, and stick to it uh, because it will drive business for sure. But you have to be consistent. It's like anything else. Love it. Love it. Love it. Was this massively valuable for you guys? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Extremely <laughs> valuable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. scan. My scanner tool is not absolutely not working. I don't know if other people, it's, my content. Can... It's, so you just put in, I know we've got a ton of comments in here, but it's uh, AI. I already forgot what it is, Phil. I put it in here. But it's... AI tools. I'm going to put it in the chat here. PDF.com. Michelle and Phil, when can we get Phil here? I know, Phil, we're working on that, right? Yeah. You and I are going to plan a several hundred person event live in well, Washington. He's, he's just so handsome. <laughs> so, so you, I will you post, <laughs> Angelina, you I will my post. favorite part of the country. So I'm trying to, to do this as an excuse to yeah, get over there. Phil's trying to come there. So we're going to plan it. Jody, you're going to help me. Um, or this yeah. cool here. Angelina, just so you know, and everyone else, when I post, when I'll, I'll share the recording and some of the links, and I'll put that link, the tool, the AI.tools. Um, but I'm already messing up. I'll put that in there. So Phil, I know you got to run to something else too. So yeah. and thank you. Um, that was awesome and amazing. Thanks everyone for coming and uh, let's go actually put it to use. So, yeah. Th thank, thank you, Phil. And thank you. And also thank you for not taking three hours. <laughs> yeah, right. we really appreciate how condensed and fast it was, you know, so that, I appreciate that's, that's that. That's how I work, man. I want to be as efficient as possible and I want to respect your time. So awesome. Awesome. So can yeah. we get a hold, can we get a hold of you through Instagram or just yeah, Instagram is the best way for sure. And okay. um, yeah, we'll connect. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think uh, you're going to probably have quite a few people on, on your, uh, on your, so. Love Thank it. You. I'm All glad right. it was valuable. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.